crybaby Kaepernick could get signed to last team you'd expect. Pissed players have other plans since the start of the preseason. The godfather of national anthem protesting, Colin Kaepernick, has been on his knees begging for a job. It's no question why he hasn't been able to get hired, as he's one of the most hated players in the league, if not the most hated player. He's franchise suicide to anyone who signs him, but that's apparently lost on one team who looks like they might work a deal with this third-string player who comes with a lot more baggage than just really bad performance last season. Kaepernick was mostly unemployable for the fact that his performance last season wasn't worth his pay. Added to that was his anti-American rhetoric before every single game when then-former 49 ERS quarterback took a knee for the national anthem in protest of unfair treatment of black citizens of America. Ironic, really, coming from a guy who gets paid millions to play a game and was afforded these advantages in life after being adopted by a loving white couple. But I digress. His disrespectful message preceded him into this new season which he thinks he should be playing in. No team picked him up which he, and other race baiters, think is because of the 50% of him that's black. Those who clamor on about this perceived racism problem for not being hired, forget to look at Kaepernick's abysmal play and statistics over the last two years. He's a third stringer who wants elite starting quarterback money. But that's just not going to happen because it's a poor business decision for every owner in the league, except maybe one, and it's the last team anyone would expect to pick him up. One team that's recently been in the news for players' pro-American moves could soon be in search of a quarterback. After their first couple games of the season looked way worse than Kaepernick's poor performance for every game combined last season. He's suddenly looking a lot better and perhaps the Cincinnati Bengals' only hope of revival. While there is no indication that the Bengals' coach and owner are ready to sign Kaepernick, some players on the team are rooting for him to be added, while others have different plans, according to WCPO. NBC Sports reports, after playing two games only four days apart and scoring a grand total of no touchdowns in 120 minutes of football at home and putting coach Marvin Lewis in the throes of a near mutiny, the Bengals changed offensive coordinators. Next, they could be changing quarterbacks. The team insists that quarterback Andy Dalton is safe. But the feeling within the locker room, we're told, is that the leash isn't quite so long and that if the struggles continue under new offensive coordinator Bill Lazor, the next one to go could be Dalton. This means that A.J. McCarron would take over, if Dalton is indeed benched. But there's a feeling among some of the players that the Bengals should go off the board and consider bringing in Colin Kaepernick. What makes the suggestion to sign him to this team in particular so surprising is that the Biggles tight end Tyler Eifert just sent a huge, Powerful message less than a week ago that's completely contrary to what Kaepernick would support. In an essay titled Why I Stand, Eifert moved Americans to tears as to why he refuses to follow Kaepernick's lead. I stand because I want to honor the people putting their lives on the line for me on a daily basis in the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, and Coast Guard, Eifert began. What Eifert understands that Kaepernick does not is the sacrifice necessary to preserve our nation's freedom, as his cousin is a pilot in the U.S. Air Force. My cousin is risking his life flying F-15S in active war zones. Noting that this is a risk all members of every branch of the United States military willfully take. The tight end took that sentiment even further in a way that he plans to take it on the field for every game. Eifert who has played in the NFL since 2013, said he now plans to combat these Kaepernick-inspired protests with a tradition of his own, where he now plans to write the name of a different military member on the heels of his shoes before each game, whether active, retired, killed or missing in action, or a prisoner of war, Prissy Holly previously reported for Freedom Daily. Even if Kaepernick is signed to this team, which could only happen in the franchise head somehow listen to the few people on the team who are begging to bring him on, Eifert will continue his own protest against everything the disrespectful quarterback kneels for.
It would be sweet irony for Kaepernick to have to play for this team and face Eifert and every day who will silently remind him just how wrong he is.